So there's been a big push recently to invest in companies that follow certain ethical guidelines, that have value systems that align with your personal ethics and values. And I think that's important. I think now that um, some of the things that are happening in the news and some of the things that are happening in the world today, I think it's important to um, invest in companies that you feel align with your same values and your same ethical moral standpoint. I personally am a white conservative male. I love my country, the United States of America. I'm an American. I'm a patriot. And I absolutely love those values. So I'm going to share with you how I'm going to vote or how I'm going to change some of my investment strategies based on some of the things that I'm learning about the companies that I have had my money invested in. I'm going to probably sell some of those stocks and buy companies that are more aligned with what I want to do going forward. And so let's get into it. My name is Paris Clough, and this is Financial Self-Reliance. On this channel, I love helping people manage, protect, and grow their money. And a lot of times we need to grow our money based on the values and the ethical moral compass that we have and pick companies that are headed in the same direction, doing the same things. Uh, there's a lot going on right now with uh, in terms of keeping things American, keeping things that are American made, American manufactured, American distrib distributed, and uh, just really keeping American jobs. And so I'm I'm actually really feeling like I want to support that in my investments as well. So I'm going to be looking at companies that are going to be doing things that are aligning with what I want to have and what I want to promote in the world. And those are good, conservative, moral, ethical values that I believe are strong and have been strong and have worked for hundreds of years. Now, I don't mind having the opportunity to uh, deal with somebody or meet somebody that opposes my viewpoint, but as long as we can have a good, uplifting, edifying conversation and maybe come out wiser of, between the two of us, that's always wonderful. But when it gets to the point where it's yelling and screaming, name calling, throwing a tantrum, that is just not productive, and there's nothing that can good that can come from that, that kind of an interaction. So I'm going to share with you a couple of things that I've been looking at in the news and why I'm kind of moving this direction with my investment strategy. So I don't drink beer, but um, if I did, I would probably be very upset with what Bud Light has recently done. Bud Light went woke as soon as it uh, got involved with Dylan Mulvaney. There's been a lot in the news about that whole thing that's happened, and Bud Light has lost a lot of money. Their stocks, their shares have gone the wrong direction because of the backlash that's happened. And I agree with the backlash. Bud Light doesn't need to have an advertisement with this kind of situation. There's no need for it. The other thing that recently too, Maybelline has gone woke. They use Dylan Mulvaney and then they use this other guy who's apparently some, the bearded Vita, Ryan Vita. There's a lot of people that wear makeup. I know as an actor, when I was an actor, I would wear makeup to be able to show up on the screen. But I believe that makeup in general, and so there's a lot of people, ought to be specifically designed for women. I can define a woman. I know what a woman is. A woman is a female, someone who was born with two X chromosomes. Super easy and uh, not a lot of complication there. So that's something that I was really frustrated with. Here's another situation. Outrage grows. Even Kohl's started to offer this whole thing for babies. Now, look, if you're 18 and you want to make decisions on your own because you're an adult and you know what you're doing, that's different. But for children who don't know what they're doing or be easily influenced, they can make lifelong decisions at a way too young of age. This is the kind of thing that we shouldn't be promoting, in my opinion. Now, again, this is my opinion. Uh, Target move, removing some LGBTQ merchandise following customer backlash. Target has been under fire. Another thing that they did was they had Satan-loving trans artist Eric Carnell, who designed items in Target's controversial 2023 Pride collection, slams firm's decision to remove products. Well, this is what they were selling. Satan respects pronouns. Why does a... What, what, what is going on? That's not my value system. I recognize that Satan exists, but he is the enemy of everything that I stand for. And so why would I support or why would I invest my money in a company that's going to be promoting somebody who's the enemy of everything that I stand for? If you stand for Satan and you want to have Satan as your, you know, as, if that's your belief and you want to invest in companies like that, that's your prerogative. All I'm saying is that my prerogative is that I don't want to invest in companies that are promoting things that are the absolute antithesis of the things that I believe in. So I'm making a change. And this is not just me. This is a lot of different people. I don't know if you've ever heard of a company or a program called Public Square. Public Square is a huge uh, American-made, American-manufactured, American-designed uh, app that connects you with businesses and individuals and things that are going to be providing those same values, those same core Christian moral uh, ethical values that you if you, if that's you, if you want to be able to know what companies to shop with and what the companies to go to, then you're going to want to jump onto public square. I'm not an affiliate. I don't have an affiliate. Maybe I should get an affiliate, 
Um, but I'm telling you, Public Square. Another one that's really good is especially for those of us that are looking at doing our research on different stocks that we're going to be buying on particular companies is to come here and look at a company's score. So second vote, that's 2ND, 2ndvote.com. And you can look here and you can do search scores. So let's say, for example, you want to search um, uh, Home Depot. Home Depot rates a 2.43, which is uh, right just under neutral, which is okay. Um, then we can do, if we want to do a competitor, if you want to know if you should vote for Lowe's or Home Depot and you want to kind of, you're, you're like right on the edge there and this kind of thing matters, then I would say 2.01, which is worse than Home Depot. I would go for Home Depot instead of Lowe's as an example. Another one here is you can look at, let's look at Target. Target is a 1.24. They're even worse. I don't understand why the Cartoon Network is uh, one. That's very liberal. Uh, Cartoon Network is usually or should be for kids, which is something that I believe that children should maintain their innocence as long as possible. And they don't need to be worrying about different things that uh, way too many people are talking about in the mainstream media. So this is a great tool to come and look at and see what are the things that you want to invest in. These are, the, these are kind of the companies that you want to be a part of. So let's bring up Google or Alphabet. Alphabet is one. So if you are really concerned about the ethics and the moral compass of a company that you're investing in and the money that you're putting into the market, if it's going to be used for the things that you want it to be used for, you probably ought not to invest in Google. I would say stay away from Google if you're conservative and you want to have a good, strong, moral um, Christian ethic in the companies that you're investing in. Now, if you don't care about that, because you're just investing and you're going to let the money go, then that's fine. That's up to you. But if you care about where they're putting their money, once that where their profits are going, what things they're funding, what things they're advocating for, then uh, you ought to really be concerned about something, a score like one. So if you want to know what are the most conservative companies, you can come over here and do sort by results, high to low. And you can see the Patriot Mobile is something 4.91, very strong conservative value system, AMAC, uh, Family Research Council, Great American Outdoors Group. That's actually a really good score for those guys. So even Dan Bongino has created what's called the parallel economy. This is a huge movement now amongst conservatives, amongst Americans, amongst patriots that are really concerned about where the country is going and how the liberals are really taking off and going in the wrong direction. Now, this video might be controversial. You may not like what I'm saying here, but I'm sharing my opinion. I'm sharing my thoughts, and I hope that you'll respect that at least. So I believe that um, I listen to Dan quite a bit, and he's creating a parallel economy for um, payment processing. So this is a, if you're a business and you want to be able to payment process properly or with, with a company that shares your conservative, patriotic American values, this is the way to go. Um, another thing that I've been doing recently as well is I've been looking for companies that provide products and services that I buy in my home, that I buy in my house, rather than going to the local store here that might have things on the shelf that are owned by China or run by China or have uh, the illusion of choice down here where all of these different brands are actually owned by 11 of the major conglomerates, which are actually also then owned by some of the bigger you know, hedge funds like BlackRock and Vanguard, which we know their direction that they're heading. If you've been paying attention in the news and you're conservative, that, that you're worried, you should be worried about the direction that those things are headed. So if you want to know where I'm buying with some of the stores I'm buying that that uh, have these conservative values, go ahead and click on the link below where it says Patriot Switch. This is all Patriots around the country are switching to companies that are providing American made, American manufactured, American distributed value systems, good quality stuff, good prices. And uh, this particular company uh, that I'm working with offers 400 plus co products and services. And they also have vaccine free, hormone free beef steaks and all kinds of great stuff. So if you're interested in that, this is a great option here. So my main concern with this video is that I want to really reiterate that whatever your value system is, if you want to vote with your and uh, your values and with your dollars, then you can do that by investing in companies that are headed in the same direction that you're headed in. So if you're a liberal and you absolutely want to support those things, actually second vote can help you. All the companies with a one or a two would be great investments for you because those are funding things that you feel like are important. If you're conservative and you're Christian and you're American and a patriot like I am, and you want to support companies that are more conservative and are doing things with their profits and supporting causes and advocating for causes that are more aligned with that, then three, four, and five is kind of be where you should be in your uh, when you go to second vote or other different things like that, like public square or anything else. So I'm going to share with you in my personal portfolio, I have my M1 finance portfolio. 
So I'm going to go through here. Actually, I have some, most of the ETFs that I own, which is the indexes. I have an index ETF here, which is uh, VTI, BND, QQQ, and VXUS. I have that. And then um, I also have, I have a dividend ETFs. Now I know that some of these ETFs are going to be so widespread and they're going to have money involved in some of these companies, but my main concern isn't so much that. My main concern is my individual stock choices. Uh, for example, I have some growth stocks here. And as you can see in my growth stocks, I have Meta, which is Facebook. They're, they don't have a very good score on that second vote. Google doesn't have a very good score. Rumble has a better score. Amazon doesn't have a very good score. So some of these choices that I've made in the past don't have very good scores. I was looking at other factors. And now I'm ready to really make a decision. In fact, I'm putting a lot more weight into what those values are in the way that they're running and advocating and what they're doing, what these companies are doing. I'm putting a lot more weight. So I'm going to change up some of my investments here. I'm going to be selling them. I'm going to be getting rid of them. And I'm going to be switching to companies that are going to be more geared toward and oriented towards those values that I want to espouse. So I hope this video was helpful to you and gave you some ideas. If you have some very conservative values and very patriotic American made values that you want to support, then I would recommend investing in companies that are promoting and advocating for the same things that you are. We got, in my opinion, I feel very strongly that I've got to turn the tide and balance out what's happening in the world within social media and in the regular mainstream media. The things that are going on right now are concerning to me and to my family and to my friends and to my associates. And so we're really doubling down and making sure that we're doing things with our money that's going to support causes that we believe in. And I hope that you'll do the same. If you missed the last video I produced, you can catch it here. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel up here and check out this video that YouTube thinks you might like. Till the next one, have a fantastic day and vote your values.